Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this cool summer to winter effect in Final Cut. So here I've got a drone clip of an event I've filmed called Cycle Classic. First thing I do is I make a cut near the middle of the clip and then I just get a solid colour underneath and I'll switch this to the colour white. This will represent the snow which you'll see further on in the clip. Now here you can see that around one to two seconds into the second clip I make a marker and this just helps when it comes to keyframing knowing that everything is kind of uh, in sync because there are a few keyframes that will happen during this effect. Uh, now switch everything back to normal by just dragging that slider across and then I make a keyframe at the start of the second clip and then I go back to that marker and then I just do a bit of dragging. Now you can see that this effect is already starting to take place. You see this sort of snowy look starting to appear. Um, and then yeah, I just make a few adjustments until I'm happy with it. And as you can see, bang, just like that, getting that look already. Um, obviously there are a few more things that will uh, be added to make this clip look real. The first thing being, of course, snowflakes. Now here I've got this the screen screen, so I get rid of that by adding the Kia. it's going to look a little bit rough if we just jump straight into the snow. So what we do is we go and grab a cross dissolve transition. And just put that on top. You don't want to drag the transition all the way to the marker because obviously you want to have a bit of snowfall before the snow starts to settle. Just like that. I drag a clouds in. Uh, this just helps kind of, you know, hide a, f hide a few of the blemishes that happen in this clip. Um, but if you want to see how I did this, you know, cloud thing, I have a tutorial on my YouTube um, and there will be a link in the description to how to do it. But yeah, it's super basic. Um, but yeah. I don't quite like it appearing so suddenly, so I make that crosses of transition last a little bit longer. Now I grabbed also another element here, which is the sort of misty look. Um, and then yeah, the same thing with the snow, I grab a Kia and get rid of the greens. And then here I also make this a little bit animated alongside the cloud with the transform panel. Uh, but first thing I do is I lower the opacity so it isn't so in your face. Cool, so that's looking better. So I set a keyframe right at the start of the clip and then at the end I make the adjustments to kind of make sure that this mist, you know, stays in line with the movement of the drone. I make sure to right click the keyframes and switch them to linear. Um, and then also I adjust, I adjust the scale at the end as well. So as you, the drone is flying, the mist gets bigger. So I've just also added a LUT to make the clip look a little bit better. Um, but as you can see, it is a little bit blown out during the snow. Now, if this is the look you're going for, <laughs> great. But personally, I don't quite like it. So what I do is I grab the cut drone clip and then I just layer it. Then what I do is I go to the blend mode and select multiply. Now basically this just makes the clip a little bit more darker and as you can see it adds a little bit more detail to my clip which is what I'm after. Right at the start of the clip 
this does not look great. So we're going to do a few adjustments to make sure that this is okay. So what I do is I go to the start of the clip and then click on the opacity keyframe and then drag this all the way down to zero. Then I go to my marker and then I scale it back up. So as you can see, there's a bit more of a gradual progression here. And there you go. Just like that, you've got your clip.